Concrete barriers placed along the North Avenue Bridge in Milwaukee are there to protect cyclists and pedestrians. But our I-team learned the barriers cause an $8,400 problem for one local woman. Sean Gallagher shares the details in this Project Drive Safer report. It was supposed to be a normal drive home from work for Jenny Shubakowski. She works as a nurse and travels to people's homes to care for them. Oh, I just saw a patient left his house and I thought I'd just take North Avenue home. I live right in Tosa. As she traveled west on North Avenue, she got up to the bridge and noticed police lights on the eastbound side. Officers were helping another driver, pictured here, whose SUV was stuck on a concrete barrier. I slowed down completely, and I was almost up to, up to the car, and all of a sudden, I hit something. I didn't know what I hit. According to Milwaukee police, Shubakowski hit another concrete barrier on the north side of the bridge. I didn't know what I hit. I didn't see anything. And I slammed down very hard and all my airbags deployed. DPW says these barriers have been in place since 2019 and have reflective signs in place so drivers can see them. But the night Shubakowski was driving. There was snow piled up here and I did not see the cement wall at all, nor was this reflector sign up. She took out her phone and started taking pictures. In those pictures taken February 6th, you can't see reflective signs on the barrier she hit. My husband called either Tuesday or Wednesday, said, hey, I got a major complaint. You know, you have these walls up, you know, there's no warning. The I team reached out to DPW about why signs were not on the barrier. In an email, a spokesperson wrote, if the signage gets removed, we will replace if we are aware. In this instance, in 2023, the signs were installed on January 27th and again on February 7th. In another email, we asked why signs had to be reinstalled twice in less than two weeks. DPW did not answer our question. Instead, a spokesperson wrote, MPD is the better agency to speak on specific collisions and their circumstances. For Shubakowski, that second reinstallation was one day too late. What are you dealing with now? So I put a claim into my insurance um, and took my car in. There's $8,400 in damage, and um, which is now my fault. And so there's no, I don't have coverage for a uh, rental car, so I'm paying $40 a day, probably for another month, because it's going to take about a month for my car to be fixed. And Shubakowski's insurance agent already told her to expect to pay higher premiums for filing a claim. I do think the city should be somewhat responsible for because I did not, there was no, you know, reflector here, there's no sign here, nothing. For the I team, I'm Sean Gallagher. Now we sent the pictures that Shubikowski took to Milwaukee DPW and asked if someone would like to comment. A spokesperson sent a link where Shubikowski can now file a claim. So the city's attorney's office tells us if the city is found responsible for damages, there will be a payout. So a huge part of Project Drive Safer is hearing from you, our viewers. If you have a story, an idea, or have a way that will impact reckless driving, head over to projectdrivesafer.com and send us a message.